All right, fourth grade, today we're going to practice using proofreader's marks. Um, using proofreader's marks is really for when you are looking at someone else's paper and you are checking it for errors. You can do it with your, with your own as well. Um, but I think of it mainly when you're looking at someone else's writing uh, because with your own usually you can just make changes. But anyway, these are marks that are common to use when you are proofreading a paper. So let's look at them. This one that looks kind of like a backwards P with two lines or a nine with two lines means to indent a paragraph. So like if a paragraph, remember we always, like, like it is right here, we always want our paragraphs to be starting in just a little bit and that's called an indent. So if somebody forgot, like here, they didn't indent this first line, they put it right here at the margin. So if we're supposed to remember to indent, we'll put this mark. This means delete. That means literally just take the word out. So like they put the word when twice here. So it's just a circle with a little squiggle that shows that take it out of there. So that's delete. Insert a period. So it's just like a little arrow, little up arrow, and then a period in there. So it shows that you're sticking that in wherever that little arrow goes. Sorry, I guess I can zoom in a little. Insert a period. I just have trouble holding it still while I'm talking. And then the next one's insert a comma. Same thing, just a little arrow with a comma. Capitalize. So if something needs capitalized, like here, Gulf of Mexico, these letters should be capitalized. You put three little lines underneath it, underneath the letter that should be capitalized. And the opposite, put in lowercase. If somebody capitalizes something they shouldn't have, let's see if they have an example here. Oh, yeah, right here. Symbols, they cross it out just to show that, oh, that's the wrong form of that letter. We should have a small one. So I wrote out a quick sample paragraph and it's a little sloppy but um, I thought we could add a few marks here. So when you proofread, it's a really good idea to take it um, a step or two at a time. So instead of going through the whole thing and looking for all the marks, um, you can take it in chunks. So I usually, my favorite thing to, the way I like to do it is to start with capitalization. So I go through and I see any capitalization mistakes I made. So right here, I can see that my T should be capitalized. So I do three little underlines to show that I should have done a capital T. This weekend, I went to my parents' house. It was a lot of fun. We roasted marshmallows, played games, ate cake. I, oh, that should have been capitalized. I really hope I can go again soon. Oh, I have a capital G here. Doesn't need to be capitalized. There, I've done my capitalization. Now, maybe I'll go through and do punctuation. So I'll look for commas and periods that I missed. Um, this weekend, I went to my parents' house, period. Oh, good. It was a lot of fun. We roasted marshmallows. This was the end of my idea, so I should have put a period here, which then means that this should be capitalized. We roasted marshmallows, played games, and ate cake. That's a list, so I should have commas right here and right here. And ate cake. I really hope I can go again soon. Period at the end. Oh, so if when it's your own writing, it's really easy to just kind of stick that mark in there, but really we should make that little arrow and put it inside to show that's where it goes. Um, let's see, which ones have we not done? So we did capitalization, we did those. Delete, I forgot to put one of those in here in my example. I could take out, um, I could take out the words a lot of, I could just say it was fun. So if I wanted to do that, I would put a circle in this little mark, a lot of, I wanna take those out. So it says, this weekend I went to my parents' house. It was fun. We roasted marshmallows, played games, and ate cake. I really hope I can go again soon. So again, those are those marks. Oh, and I should have indented my paragraph. There. Now my paragraph has been edited. And now if I were to keep going, I would rewrite it with all these changes made. And then it would be in much better shape than it started out as. So practice using those marks as you read through things that need to be edited and then figure out how to correct them and write your sentences and paragraphs correctly. All right, good job.